I'm Alora Mazarakis. I'm a flight communications and tracking engineer at NASA on the Artemis program, and I am a Project Lead the Way graduate. So part of my job in the firing rooms is to make sure that when the rocket is getting ready for launch that all of the antennas are communicating with us correctly and that the launch control center is able to see all of the telemetry or all of the data that's coming off of the rocket and that everything looks good. I think what I love most about what I do at NASA is getting to work with flight hardware. Um, sometimes we get to go climb inside the rocket and we get to go look at individual components and we get to go test things, um, you know, in an in integrated sense, but we get to actually go ourselves. And there is nothing cooler in the world uh, than sitting inside of a astronaut crew module and getting to say like, this is gonna be in space soon or this is gonna be on the moon. And to be able to go into Orion and sort of sit where they're gonna be able to sit and test the systems that they're going to be using. There's nothing as cool in the world to me. <laughs> Growing up, I was always introduced to aerospace-related toys. So, you know, instead of just Barbie, I had Barbie's dream plane, and I had a Mickey pilot and a mini flight attendant. I think that's just testament to how early on I was interested in space, even before I knew about NASA. I think I became aware of NASA when we took a vacation to Florida, and I saw my very first space shuttle launch, and it was like nothing that you could ever describe to somebody. To me, I think, you know, little kids cry about noises and I was crying at the beauty of it. Um, and ever since that moment, I just knew that I wanted to build rocket ships. I wanted to work for NASA. I always kind of leaned toward STEM and aerospace and specifically the stars. I always loved the stars. My dad, he always promoted that. He always wanted me to follow that goal and I think probably because it was just like his. He knew when he was five or six years old that he always wanted to fly airplanes. That shared bond between he and I is really special because he wanted to fly and I want to launch. <laughs> Early on I didn't necessarily know how I could achieve that goal, what path I needed to take. So I started the Project Lead the Way Fundamentals of Engineering course, uh, and we got to build cardboard canoes, and we tested them out in the local pool, and we got to learn to use 3D modeling software, and we got to create things in a 3D space that I had never been able to before. And for me, that was so fun, because as someone who always liked to draw and paint, creating something in you know, a 3D modeling software was huge. It was, a, it was like the gateway to my interest in engineering as a whole. And then just learning about the different disciplines of engineering and how engineers really contribute to the world um, with creative thinking was, that was just it for me. I was so surprised to learn that the tools that we were taught in high school were exactly the same tools that were taught in college. And I think that that's more than fantastic that high school students can really not only learn those tools, but really get a sense of what engineering really is. Maybe I would have ended up at NASA as a different role, maybe not as an engineer, but I'm sure glad that I did end up as an engineer because that really is, I think, what I'm meant to do. And I think I wouldn't have even known that that was what I was meant to do if it hadn't been for Project Lead the Way's early opportunities to grow and to learn about engineering. <laughs>